Hi and welcome to this uh, tutorial of the Easy Shaders uh, plugin uh, family. Uh, the Easy Shaders plugin is a family uh, of plugins of shaders that allow you to create cool effects on your scenes. Um, so as you can see here I have my uh, scene open. This is the result that we want to achieve by the end of this tutorial. Uh, so we have this text with some uh, really cool coloring uh, and reflections on it. Uh, so let's go ahead and open the scene without the plugins so I can show you the before uh, how the scene looks before we add the, the add the plugins. Okay, before I jump into showing you the easy shaders, uh, let's have a quick look at how the scene is uh, built up. So what I have is a cube, uh, which is my uh, environment, and within the cube I have some text with extrude and a material to create the reflections. Uh, so attach the map, a text, texture map onto the text. Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding uh, the shaders. Um, if we go into the built-ins shader plugins uh, resource folder, uh, we see here that we have all our uh, different plugins. Uh, so we have the easy brightness, uh, easy hue and saturation, uh, the levels, and easy vignette uh, and we have a last plugin which is easy shader and I will show you uh, at, by, at the end of this tutorial what this plugin is used for but it allows us to add multiple uh, shaders to one container okay so before we jump in and start recreating uh, the scene that we saw before the result uh, I'm going to show you some examples of the uh, plugins uh, individually so we can see uh, how each one of them behave. So let me go ahead and grab a uh, image and put it into our scene. So here I have the flag. Let's get it up a bit. Okay, so let's start with the easy brightness and contrast uh, shader. I'll just drag it here onto my flag and then I can start playing with the brightness of my texture so I can make it darker or brighter and I can also play with the uh, contrast. So we can have this uh, dull looking uh, flag or we can make the colors really stand out and bright. Uh, the uh, brightness and contrast shader has two modes. It's either RGB, which we'll see now, or I can uh, manage the different color channels, the red, green, or blue uh, channels individually. So I can just affect the red, give it the flag a more of a red look uh, and I can also play with the contrast of the, the red. So you see only the red colors in this flag uh, are now affected. They become brighter. Um, and we can do the same with the green. So now my flag has a greener uh, tint. And we can do the same with the blue. Okay. So very simple, that is the brightness and contrast shader. It lets you control the brightness and contrast of the uh, textures uh, in your scene. Let's uh, get rid of that plugin and uh, take the next one, which is the hue and saturation. So here I can play with the hue levels uh, of the scene, uh, of the texture, and the saturation, so I can get this uh, duller uh, look taking down the uh, saturation and the uh, value of the hue and saturation which is the global value. Okay, um, so that's the hue and saturation uh, plugin, very simple. Uh, these shaders really give you uh, the control of your graphics in your scene just as in uh, Photoshop or any image editing uh, application. So now we have the levels uh, shader. So here I can uh, change the levels of the gamma or the black and white uh, inputs uh, of the texture. So if I take up the input black, that's the uh, amount of the black color in the scene, or the white, and the same with the output. Okay, so that was the levels shader, and the last shader is the uh, vignette. 
So this is a really cool effect that we can apply to textures uh, or to our uh, scene. Um, this gives you this vignette border, this uh, nice soft shadowing uh, on the edges uh, of the texture. So I can play with the intensity, make it a lot stronger, or take it down. And the amount, the radius, uh, so the amount of the shade that we get on the corners. And the softness. So if we don't want such a hard edge, so here I can apply a nice uh, gradient of shade along the, uh, from the outside uh, of the texture inwards. And we can also change the, uh, the color uh, of the shadow. So I can give this green, uh, green tint, uh, a yellow tint, and play with the opacity. Okay, so those are the four shaders that we currently have in, uh, in the package. Um, and now to recreate the scene uh, that we saw earlier, I'm going to use the Easy Shader uh, plugin to manage multiple shaders on one container. Okay, so now I'm going to add the Easy Shader plugin uh, to the uh, Easy Post Effects, which is a screen space shader. Uh, so I'm going to apply the different shaders to the whole screen, uh, to the whole output of my scene. So I'll just add the plugin to the same container. And now I can start adding multiple uh, shaders that control this container uh, by going into the Easy Shader plugin and selecting the shaders that I want from the drop-down list. So let's draw, start by adding the Brightness and Contrast plugin. And I'll start playing with the uh, channel values. So the red, I'm going to set to minus 20. And the contrast to 30. So now we're getting this uh, green, green bluish uh, tilt, uh, tint on our scene. Um, so I also want to use the RGB channel. So what I can uh, do is I'll go back to Easy Shader and add another instance of the Brightness and Contrast plugin. Because if I go to RGB here, it will cancel out the channel effects. So this shader will be the channel uh, effects. And on this shader, I will change the brightness um, of the RGB. So I'm going to set this to minus 60, uh, which gives uh, this darker look on the, uh, on the scene. And the contrast I'll set to 100. And now we have this rich color look on the scene. So I can go ahead and play and see how this looks for now. And that's the effect that I'm uh, looking for. OK, we can now go ahead and add the uh, Levels uh, plugin, shader. So I'm going to add that to the group. And you can see it creates the new container with the Levels uh, shader on it. And now I'll go ahead and change the values here. So this will be 0.5. With the, the input black at zero, uh, this will be a hundred. The input the output black will be set to twenty, and we'll leave the upper white at one hundred. So you can see that the upper black gives the colors a bit of a darker appearance. Okay, and finally, I'm going to add the vignette uh, shader. So I'll just select it and add it to the scene. And now you can see that I have these uh, uh, the shading on the corners of my screen. I can just toggle that effect so you can see you can see it clearly. So let's go ahead and adjust the uh, properties here a bit. And this will be 50. Um, let's just set the softness to 50, just to give it a softer look. And I want to change the color. So I'll just go to the color picker. I want it to match the greenish look of my uh, of my scene. Let me just adjust these values slightly. Okay. I can also set the HSV values. Okay. So now I also have this uh, shading around the corners of my screen. 
and I want to play out the graphics, we've achieved the result of the scene that you saw at the beginning of this tutorial. So that wraps it up for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can check out and download the plugins uh, from our website.